Hello again, welcome to another edition of The Real Ale Guide. We've got a special edition, special, sorry, guest on the show today. It's Christy McCreed from Molson Coors. Hello, Christy. Hello, thank you for having me along. No problem, no problem. Um, there's been quite a lot of um, reaction today on YouTube with Mrs. Real Ale Guides. Um, via this, she's had a few people mention it on Facebook and on the YouTube comment box. Um, we're going to be looking at your new beer, the Anime, from Molson Coors, because you actually work for Molson Coors. <laughs> uh, it's aimed at women. So, Christy, this is your baby. You've been working with it for two years. Please introduce the beer, what it's about, and explain Molson Coors thinking behind the beer and launching it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Anime is a range of beers created especially for women. Um, so there's three flavours. There's an ultra-filtered clear, there's a lemon, um, and there's a rosé flavour. Um, and they've been created, like you say, over the last two years. It's been a real labour of love, not just for us at Molson Coors, yeah. but actually working with women. So we've spoken to just over 30,000 women in the last two years to really develop um, a range of fresh uh, delicious tasting beers targeted specifically at women. Fantastic. Fantastic. And when are these beers being launched? Uh, well, we're just ready for launch now. So uh, our first listing will be in the off trade in Morrison's in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then we'll look to go into some more supermarkets nationwide as, as well as the on trade as well. Um, and I think the thing that you have to consider with these beers, and one thing that, that people don't often realize, yeah. is that um, almost 80% of women in the UK never or rarely drink beer. Um, and there is a fundamental challenge we have as a beer industry to get more women choosing beer more often. And we really believe, based on the women we've worked with to create anime, that this yeah. is one way to do that. Um, and it was great to see that uh, Mrs. Real Ale Guide saying that she did think that women would buy it. So um, that's a thumbs up for us this morning. Absolutely. I can definitely see women buying the beer. The lemon was very, very nice. I really enjoyed the lemon, to be honest. Um, so 70, you said 79% of women yep. never, never go near a beer. I think that's because um, I think that's because of a lot of the adverts on the TV. I don't think they help. Um, it's always as well. It must be very difficult for a lady, even if they fancy trying beer, to walk into a bar and and, and order a pint of bitter and and maybe. Um, a, a lager because it is so targeted towards men so you're trying to break that mold in a fact. yeah absolutely um, and there are there are a number of reasons why why women don't drink beer and I think we have to remember the amount of women that drink beer in the UK is less than just about anywhere else in the beer drinking world so we've got a real challenge um, one of the biggest reasons is advertising and I think what the beer industry has done is a couple of things over the last you know, 30 to 40 years, they've either ignored women completely yeah. or they've put them in bikinis as sex objects in adverts and then we wonder why women don't want to drink beer. Oh, so yeah. we do have to, we've got to get past this kind of real masculine image that beer has and it's one of the biggest reasons why women don't drink beer. Um, another reason is all around kind of knowledge and education because because the beer industry doesn't talk to women, they don't know about different beer styles, different beer flavours. There's just a complete lack of education and knowledge around beer in pubs and in supermarkets. Whereas you look at wine um, and there's so much information about flavours and styles and tastes, you can see why they're choosing that instead. Um, so we've got some big, big barriers to overcome, but we think anime is a great starting place. Great. Um, what's your gut feeling with this? Is it um, excitement mixed with apprehension, a little nervousness? Because I mean, it's due to be launched any time now. What's your gut <laughs> feeling with this with this brand of beers you have? Do you know, um, it's all of those things. Um, but I think the biggest one is is excitement. And um, I think, like you said, um, anime for us, we've developed for two years, and it kind of feels now like we're we're kind of you know laying our souls bare to the beer drinking nation. Yeah. Um, but we're absolutely really excited and, and the reason for that is because of the way that we've developed this by really understanding what it is women want for, from a beer and how do we get women to choose this, how do we get them excited about it and, and every piece of research that we've done, every consumer test we've done has been so positive um, that I think over, over and above everything we're really, really excited. I just can't wait to see it on shelf. Fantastic. 
Fantastic, fantastic. I know Maverick Cole of the Beer Beauty. She uh, blogs at blogspot.com if anybody would like to go and read her blogs. They're very entertaining um, and informative, of course. I know she likes your range of beer. She's, she's blogged about them recently. I think it's her latest blog. She actually likes the beer. But apart from that, also Pete Brown has um, written an interesting blog about your beers. Well, he likes them. But we've actually had, if you don't mind me um, just showing these uh, off, off the PC here, we've actually had some quite strong remarks from, yeah. from, from the male population. That, that's 79%. Um, do you mind answering a couple of these remarks? Um, yes, no, no, not at all. Go for your life. Okay. Uh, the first one is... Um, I'll cut out a lot of it. Uh, it seems like a good idea for the marketing to not identify it, but I think the colouring is fairly obvious to go for the wine drinkers. They see it in a smaller bottle, cheaper than getting a bottle of wine. But... People are not stupid and will see right through it soon enough. Great, honest review. Well, I think it's interesting. I mean, this is very, very different to wine, for starters. Um, it is, it's at 4%, and um, so it is a lower ABV. It is very refreshing. It's lightly sparkling. Um, it offers, you know, as Mrs. Villanelle Guide said, you do get the beer hoppy taste from it. Um, and I think what's interesting is that... This is very much aimed at women that currently aren't drinking beer. Right. Um, and what they are telling us is they're not drinking beer for a number of reasons, for the advertising, for the packaging, for the marketing, and for the taste. And actually, when you put this product in front of women, um, they really like it. They, they really believe that it's, it, it offers something genuinely different in the beer category. Um, and it's interesting that those people that are the most negative towards it are in the main men um, and those people that haven't tried it. And I just, you have to wonder, is, is, you know, as a male drinking society, our people feel somewhat threatened um, that we want to make it a much more inclusive unisex category. Because, you know, beer is one of life's simple pleasures. There should be a beer for everyone. I see. Okay, very, very uh, good answer from you there. Um, another one was uh, from... Uh, a beer reviewer on YouTube. He's called Mr. Grim Viking. Yeah. Um, and he, here it is. Um, I never understand this marketing ploy. Let's make a beer that's only for women. We'll drink it and make it taste like a fizzy drink and give it an alcohol alcohol pop bottle. Yeah. And let's make it taste the beer, or sorry, not taste the beer whatsoever. Yeah. And let's give it a name which most people will assume is a wine cooler. Yeah, and let's use the finest beer to... No, hang on. They won't taste the beer. Use the bland stuff. Now, sod that. We can throw in the taste of stuff, but nobody with a working tongue will buy it. Well, I think as Mrs. Real Ale Guide has said, she thinks people will buy it. We can disabuse that notion from someone that's tried it. Yeah. Um, I think fundamentally we have to be really clear, anime is absolutely a beer. Uh, it is brewed uh, as any other beer is. We do uh, put it through an ultra filtration process. Yeah. So uh, we start with a beer base to get to the clear beer. Um, we, in simplest terms, we put it through a very small sieve. Imagine about a million times smaller than your standard kitchen sieve. Um, and colour molecules and some of the deeper taste molecules that women tell us they reject yeah. don't get through the sieve. Um, but it's fundamentally a beer, um, brewed in the same way that all, all beers are. And, and we do know um, that it's something that women are really looking forward to. You know, Like I've said, this was created by women. Yeah. Um, this wasn't us sitting in a room determining what women would like. We've spent two years talking to women at every stage of the process, developing the beer, the bottle, the label, um, and the advertising that you'll see. So, um, you know, th this is something that women tell us that they want, and we're really excited by it. I, for one, have tasted some of the beers after Mrs. Real Elk, I reviewed them, yeah. and I can confess that they have got a malty finish to them. Um, yeah. I've been review re reviewing beer for two years, and the initial thought, the initial reaction is, yes, this is a kind of a wine or a white wine spritzer or a rosé, but then all of a sudden the second tier of the taste kicks in and yeah. you will definitely get malt and hops. 
not massively because it's only four percent, but but like it's aimed at females, and I think it's a stepping stone towards that. I got one more comment. Yeah. Um, I just like this. I I think um, this has already been a bit of an exchange between you and Beer Goggle Reviews. Um, he said, "Yeah, uh, answered your question. Yeah, my my missus drinks uh, WKD Blue or the Smirnoff Ice. Um, I'll try it with her with this with this range of beer. But personally, I'd like to see some of the easier drinking beers marketed towards lazy ladies. I also think." The aggressive bikini marketing that seems to work on guys won't work on ladies, but you've already answered that. I I'd, yeah. like I'd like sorry, I find a real beer that is sweet but unsticky and non lambrini in the approach. Any hops I keep fruity and light, probably using crystal malt. So people are already asking you um, to extend the range if you like. Yeah, well, I think there's there's a couple of things we need to consider, and um, one is what we can't assume is that the only way to get women to drink beer is by having a light uh, fruit-based beer. I mean, that is that is patronising. It assumes all women are the same, um, and fundamentally, they are not. Um, anime is created for people that currently are rejecting beer altogether, like you say, as a great stepping stone into the beer category. Um, and we have to remember, as a beer category, we're facing 40 years. More people in beer category, our future is looking pretty grim for all of us. Um, so if this is a way to get people that reject beer in, that's fantastic. Could I just ask you to repeat just the last bit there? You got to the percentages, the, the video just clogged up a little bit. Oh, um, yeah, that was my best bit. I'm, go on, sorry. The percentages of uh, the declines in the beer industry, sorry. Yeah, so we are, we're facing 40 years of decline in the beer category. Right. We've lost 30% of beer category volumes just in the last six years. So we've got, to, we've got to do everything we can to get more people into the category, and especially women. Um, anime is absolutely targeted at women that are currently rejecting beer, and we know because they tell us um, it's something that they're looking forward to trying um, and will hopefully get them, like you say, as a stepping stone into other beers. Um, we can't assume it's the, the right beer for every single woman, um, but then we can't assume that, you know, uh, ales, one particular brand of ale is the right beer for every man. It's got to be about offering choice. Um, and what we're really about at Molson Cause is offering choice. Absolutely. Um, on about stepping stones, like, like I say, I think the rosé tasted like a rosé with a, a malty finish. The white, the clear was like a white wine spritzer with a, with a very, very small amount of a malt finish. And the lemon I really, really liked. For yeah. me, the exciting bit for me about all of this, looking at it on a positive note, is that you can use the, or, or a, a lady might go to the shopping shop, pick up uh, three bottles of this, go home and try them, and then think, beer, wow, it's this whole new world. Absolutely. And then, yeah, and then maybe I'll, I'll stick with their core brand, which they found, and then alter and, and try other beers like like um, Doom Bar and, and some of the other beers yeah. that are out there. Yeah, absolutely. It is about encouraging, because you've got to remember as well, so if you take supermarkets, 80% of shopping in supermarkets is done by women, and yet they just walk past the beer aisle completely. Absolutely. So anime is a way to get them into the beer aisle and trying different kinds of beer, um, then I'm, I'm all for it. And I think one of the things you have to remember as well is when you talk about how much, how beery it is, um, you're looking at, at that against someone that drinks beer right across the spectrum. Yeah. So actually, if you don't drink beer at all, um, and if you're normally drinking, you know, uh, wine and spirits, actually what women tell us, some women tell us, this is quite a beery drink. Um, and so what we can't do is say, if you've got women that reject hops, putting them straight into, you know, a, a stout or an IPA is, is just too far. Um, and it will, they'll never come back to it. That's right. Let's take them on a journey. But remember, your view of beer is, is very different, as is mine. I'm a beer drinker. I drink a lot of IPAs and stouts and real strong, hoppy beers. So for me, I, I find this is very light. Uh, fundamentally a beer, but very light to what I'm used to. Yeah. But if I didn't drink beer, I'd see it very differently. 
Fantastic. Thank you, thank you for coming on the show. Um, it was done in the last hour. We've been tweeting each other, and it was done off. It was very, very quickly. It hadn't really been planned at all. If I could just give out Molson Cause website, it's www.molsoncause.com. And if you want to follow Christy on Twitter, it's www.twitter.com forward slash big K, Christy M809. Fantastic. on Twitter. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cut, cut this video now. This video was great. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Christy. Absolute pleasure. And catch me on another episode. Cheers. <laughs>